We're now going to demonstrate the adductor canal block, which is a, a block that's become popular recently as a motor sparing knee block for patients who are having total knee arthroplasty. I've got the hip, or the, the hip slightly abducted. I'm placing a high frequency linear probe utilizing the virtual convex function in the mid aspect of the thigh. And to orientate yourself, you've got the anterior superior iliac spine over here and the medial femoral condyle lower down here. So I'm going to literally place the probe in the middle aspect of the thigh and the first thing I want to be able to orientate myself to is the superficial femoral artery. So right in the center of the screen here, you can see a nice pulsatile superficial femoral artery. If I release my pressure, you'll see that the vein below it and above the femoral artery, you've got something that forms the roof of the adductor canal here. This is the sartorius muscle. On the right hand side of the screen, which is lateral as we see it over here, is the vastus medialis and medial to that are the adductor muscles. So in order to perform um, an adductor canal block or a femoral triangle block, because this is performed at the apex of the femoral triangle, you need to identify the, the superficial femoral artery and look for neural structures that tend to lie preferentially on the lateral aspect as you're standing there. So if I focus now in on that superficial femoral artery, I'm gonna drop the depth a little bit and I draw your attention to some bright white hyperechoic tissue over here. So the aim of this block is to bring local anesthetic from lateral to medial, be underneath that roof of sartorius and inject local anesthetic into this area and surround this artery with local anesthetic. There's a vasoadductor membrane that lies above that structure and you know you're in the right place because when you inject local anesthetic you see the artery collapse down. In some circumstances, there's a subsartorial plexus that lies on the medial aspect of the artery in this subsartorial tunnel. So a circumferential spread of local anesthetic around the artery is often warranted. So most people would inject somewhere between 10 to 15 milliliters of local anesthetic around the superficial femoral artery, approaching from the lateral aspect, either traversing through the vastus medialis muscle or coming down the groove between sartorius and vastus medialis and hydrodissecting as they go. But the aim is to get local anesthetic preferentially on the lateral aspect of the artery, but occasionally you can get your needle over the top of the artery and over the medial aspect as well. I wouldn't drive your needle down here because the superficial femoral vein is lying there. I'm going to show you one more tip to orientate yourself correctly because there's a, a structure that's involved with knee analgesia which it's important not to miss and that's the nerve to the vastus medialis. So in order to optimize your injection point, it's worthwhile identifying the apex of the femoral triangle. And that's the true injection point for this block because it ensures that you get the nerve to vastus medialis. If you start high up in the thigh, you'll notice the sartorius muscle swings out laterally. This is vastus medialis and this is adductor longus. So I'm gonna slide the probe medially so I can see the medial border of sartorius. And as I move down the leg, I want to watch the medial border of sartorius and see where it meets the medial border of the adductor longus muscle, which happens there. At that point, the medial border of adductor of sartorius meets the medial border of adductor longus. Once I've identified that point, which looks like it's the midpoint of the thigh, I'm going to slide laterally. And at this point here, this is a nice place to perform your adductor canal block. If you bring a needle in here, you would identify the nerve to vastus medialis, and you will also get the rest of the contents of the adductor canal, which include the saphenous nerve, as well as nerves in the subsartorial plexus. So summary, place the probe in the middle of the thigh, make sure at the point where the medial border of sartorius meets the medial border of adductor longus right away over here. Inject your local anesthetic through that groove between sartorius and vastus medialis, aiming to open up this space and get the lateral structures that are sitting within that tunnel, which are the saphenous nerve and the nerve to vastus medialis.